Welcome back to the Story Bakery. Uh, today we're going to be making beautiful beef tenderloin fillets. Alright, so I have about two inch thick tenderloin cuts here. Um, you know, I wanted to make a whole tenderloin, but they're pretty hard to find. <laughs> so, uh, if you go to the grocery store, what you will most likely find are these. A uh, delicious tender steak. Um, it's the tenderloin that's just been sliced up, and as you can see, it's a very lean cut, but it's got really good intramuscular fat, which means that when it does pick up, it's going to be super tender and super flavorful. Alright, so in order to do that, we're going to season it with some salt, pepper, garlic, and then we're going to make a delicious creamy horseradish sauce, rosemary, thyme. Uh, it's going to be amazing. So I'm so glad you're here. I'm excited to get cooking, so let's get after it. Alright, first thing you do, Holy Trinity is seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic. That's it. Alright, and then we're going to flip those over and make sure they're seasoned really well on both sides. You know, I've learned throughout the years, especially with a great cut of meat like this, you just want to make sure you keep it simple so that the beef, the flavor of the beef, can really shine. Once they've been seasoned on both sides, preheat your oven to 475 degrees and let that seasoning sit in on uh, a little bit here. Next, preheat a cast iron skillet over medium high heat, melt some butter in there, and then you want to sear your steaks on the outside for about two to three minutes on each side. And then once they've been seared and all that juice is going to stay inside these steaks, then we're going to take them off the heat and brush Dijon mustard on the outside of them. And then we're going to return them to the pan with some rosemary on top as well as a little bit of extra butter to melt over the top. And and cook in while it's while it's in the oven then we're going to throw these into the oven for 15 minutes on 475. once that's all said and done we're going to actually start making our sauce while this is happening it's going to be yummy stick around all right steaks are in for 15 minutes so let's get busy on a sauce real quick we'll chop up some cheese here it's going to be about four ounces of a creamy cheese. I'm using a Tuscan wine soaked cheese. We're gonna mix that up, get it all chopped up nicely, and then we're gonna throw that in the bowl off to the side. Next, you're gonna wanna grab yourself a really good white wine. I'm using a Scout and Cellar Galavant Chardonnay. Uh, Scout and Cellar, sisters in wine, always hooking it up with the good stuff clean crafted no sugars added all that stuff six ounces of this go in there get a little some from the homies too and then put in a tablespoon of thyme and let that cook together for about five minutes all right now that's cooked together for five minutes we're gonna grab our heavy cream add in 10 ounces add in a half a stick of butter and then we're gonna let that cook together for an additional 10 minutes constantly stirring here with our handy dandy thermomix all right after the 10 minutes are up we're going to add in our uh, one and a half tablespoons of horseradish as well as our cheese from earlier and let those mix together and combine together so the cheese melts here comes the meat. And here's our finished product. Beautiful, delicious beef tenderloin. Let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes before you slice into it. Uh, otherwise, you're going to let all of those beautiful juices inside the beef run outside the beef. And you're not going to be able to eat them. All right, so what I'm going to do is just, oh yeah. Look at that, perfectly done here. Okay, get a couple of slices off this bad boy. Slices, slices, slices of beef. I love beef. 
I love you. Alright, anyways, uh, my eyes are up here. Quit staring at my meat. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and split this up with a nice little dollop of creamy, delicious mashed potatoes. Alright, and we're going to take just a couple slices of this absolutely gorgeous beefy tenderloin right there. And what we're gonna do, creamy horseradish sauce right over the top. Just like so. And then really what's gonna send it over the top here is we're also gonna put a teaspoon of this beef juice right over the top too. Oh, look at that. All right, final test, taste test. That's so good. It's everything you want in a steak, and then it's even better it's like super tender oh my goodness so good you guys gotta get out of here because i'm about to smash this plate thanks for showing up today love what you cook enjoy what you cook you'll make delicious food have a great day